Hello everybody, today I'm going to be switching my baby white tree frogs from paper towel substrate into a more bioactive setup. They're still going to be in the same bin and they're going to have the exact same accessories that they've had since I got them or cage decor, whatever you want to call it. So I am giving them substrate. All of this is through the bio dude. Um, I'm giving them substrate and spring tills and I will give them isopods as soon as they get used to the substrate because I don't want them eating the substrate. Um, but yeah, without further ado, here, meet my baby white tree frogs. So this is the bin I've been using for my baby white tree frogs and they've currently been on paper towel, but it seemed like no matter how often I changed the paper towel, it always smelled like pee in there and I know that frogs can absorb things through their skin. So I just decided to just switch them to a bioactive setup for now. So this is the bio dude, uh, water, whatever it's called, drainage layer. And then I'm also taking charcoal out of my springtail culture that I have um, and putting springtails and charcoal in there. The only thing I wish I had done differently and I didn't realize until after is I wish I had wetted the drainage layer a lot more before I continued. So if you're gonna follow this tutorial, definitely do, do that. Even the water from the springtails and stuff, it's still kind of damp and I don't want my springtails that I put in there to die. I want them to thrive and you know, make more springtails. Um, so hopefully this helps keeping the enclosure a little more clean. I just clean. wanted to jump in here real quick and make sure you guys knew, so I was being clear, that this is not replacing me spot cleaning. I'm still gonna have to do a lot of spot cleaning. I'm just hoping it helps keep it clean between daily spot cleans so it doesn't smell like pee all the time in there. Okay, bye. Um, I know a lot of you, or maybe you don't know, I have an adult size White's tree frog named Georgie, and so I'm just growing up these two babies until they can live with Georgie, so that's why they're in this bin for now. But yeah, so I'm just adding a bunch of springtails. Um, since there is two frogs and frog poop is surprisingly large, I wanted to make sure I put enough in there, and I'll put more if I need to. Um, and then I'll also add some isopods after they get used to even having substrate. Um, but they were on paper towels long enough for me to see that they're eating, pooping, you know, everything's healthy. But now that I've had them a couple weeks, I just want to not, not worry about those stupid paper towels anymore. I don't know how people do paper towels all the time. Um, and now I'm putting in my substrate barrier. This is just mesh I got from the bio dude when I ordered everything else. Um, I order it in the biggest size and then cut it down, so I'm using this as two, and then I can use these in Critter Creepers in the future whenever I am done, once these two frogs move out into Living with Georgie. Um, and then I'm using the Terrafauna substrate from BioDude as the substrate. Um, so I'm putting in the Terrafauna substrate, and I'm just doing kind of a small layer. I didn't want to do too much because I didn't want to take up too much of the space they have. It's a pretty large bin, um, but I just didn't want to, you know, make them lose too much space, especially having this new flooring area substrate. Um, and the reason I'm using my fist is because I don't want stuff to get under my nails I just got. <laughs> um, Next, I'm just putting in their stuff again. So this is their water dish. It's big enough for them to soak and um, it's easy to clean. I really like. I've been taking it out every day and cleaning it because for some reason it gets slimy and I know the new substrate's going to get even worse. That's their mealworm dish. I feed them with mealworms or I'll throw crickets in there. They love them both. And this is the spring to life springtail food. Um, I'm putting it under the water dish to hopefully encourage the springtails to come to the surface. Um, I didn't want to put them on the surface because I didn't want the frogs to just eat them all right away. And then this is a large piece of wood that they have in their enclosure. And their food dish is just... I just leave the food dish in there all the time and I'll take it out and clean it whenever I put mealworms in. But yeah... Um, this is a ledge I got from an online Etsy store that I got quite a few of my edges, uh, ledges from, either that or magne mag, mag ledges, magnetic ledges, something like that. Um, and then I'm just putting in a little suction cup plant as well. 
Um, I didn't want, I don't like making it too full because as you'll see at the end, one of my frogs is pretty flighty, so I need to be able to see exactly where they both are before I open the lid. Um, but yeah, so this is all I have in there right now. I feel like once I have a front opening and they live with Georgie, the one's not going to feel the strong desire to be so flighty. Um, I don't know why he's like that. He's just been like that since I got him. And I did get these as babies from a local person off of Craigslist. So that's kind of how the bin's going to look. Um, I like using these hefty bins because the lids are thick and it's really good at holding in humidity. So here is my one frog. This one um, is the more blue phase one. And this one doesn't try escaping all the time um and i that's why i put them in these containers is so they don't jump around and then i'll just let them pop out these are the containers i got them in um and then the other one you will see is a more green fa phase one and i was hoping he'd stay in his little cup long enough for me to put the lid in and then once they went back to sleep i could pull the blue containers out but as you will see in a second that is absolutely not what happened um, so watch me try to capture this little sneaky bugger. Um, luckily he didn't get on anything that could hurt him, but that's why I also do this in the bathroom because it's the smallest room of the house. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any name suggestions for my two baby white street frogs, definitely let me know. And until next time, I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!